Mike Bibby, he matured so much at the end of the year. He was a brilliant performer. Pierce slashes and out, lays back as he drops it in. Make some shots. It'll stretch the defense. He did that in the second half of the NIT. He's got to look to make some shots. Nice lead for Pierce. Oh, what a great job of reversing the basketball. Never a doubt that this one was going home. The assist, Robertson, and the jam, Pierce. Playing a lot of games, too, and has a look inside again. It is Pierce again. Four reversals, swinging it side to side, getting the motion game. There's a little curl move. Here's Pierce. He's got 10. Just a big-time player. First half, two steals. Played under control. He was the stabilizer on the perimeter. Pierce works free over a double team. Oh, what a big-time performer. The defensive end going to a trap. They're going to try to post Pierce up inside. There he goes. Great job of taking advantage of the mismatch right there. It's maybe too much. Point A to point B. He yeah. has to let his abilities go sometimes and struggle and get the ball to hold. That was Harriman who got the block before Pierce buries it. Again, I think Robertson can bother Lou on the jump shot. The height advantage. Paul Pierce just inside the three-point line. back man to man tough job for Markowski to stay with Paul Pierce He'll be down by 10 before you know it well the sprint across Markowski late getting there and then Hamilton late helping out a comfortable 23 point margin Pierce that's well, about three that he's had tonight that he had the good roll the good touch well he has such a softness to it Coming on out to this man to man, man to man defense, trying to put as much pressure and make it a tough and difficult shot for the Jayhawks. And right away they go inside to Pierce. Pierce spinning and hitting. Wow. <laughs> now, wasn't that a wonderful move, a fantastic move one on one? Important part for Iowa State does to continue to be aggressive in everything that they do, whether it be defensively. Putting it all together when you have a guy like Pierce. Billy Thomas trying to get free. Inside the Pierce. That's where the Jayhawks want to go. This is an important part right here. You can see the back screen by Pierce right there, but it gives him position now. Watch the slide into the post. And once he gets an opportunity to do that, he's established his position. And being so talented right there, it's kind of hard because there you have to foul. Well, France thought about a three and didn't take it. Now he will. And that one misses. So he's one for three in that department. But there's Pierce with the putback. Competing again. Kansas getting that two points right on back. LaFrance can't hit that one. The other All-American is there for the putback. Exactly. Following the flight of that ball. Monty Hart's going up. Now to Pierce. Love it. And now Rafe, they'll take that one. Went along with it. Paul Pierce inside with the putback. Great rebound by Paul Pierce. Paul Pierce. Spin move finds Ryan Robertson. All the way in there. Doesn't go. Another offensive rebound Pierce. by Paul Pierce. Rebound to Robertson. Now here comes Pierce. Paul's great in the open court. Smart play. Time Lee thought he was going to get hit and didn't. Just enough to throw him off. Paul for three. Coming over with the help side. Oh, what a pass from Robertson to Pierce. Wow, Paul Pierce running the floor. 15 to play. Paul Pierce, jump shot. Yes. Oh, Paul, big time player. Robertson to Thomas, and now Paul Pierce. Pierce on the baseline. Wow, sweet move by Paul Pierce. Here's the move by Paul. Great body control. Always knows where he is on the floor. Great move. Paul Pierce, 9 of 14 from the field. Ryan Robertson with it. And now Paul Pierce. Wide open. Well, Missouri just left Paul Pierce wide open. Well, good offense. Getting the ball inside the race. CD. Pierce! Well, great play by C.B. McGrath. To go to Paul Pierce or the Rafe. There's Paul. Second rebound. And here comes McGrath. He'll push it up in the wing to Pierce. And feeds it back. LaFrance will score. 
Watch Pierce inside here. He looks back and sees LaFrentz running the floor, catching and laying it off the window. It took a while to get the flowers off the floor from what did it ever pregame festivity. Pierce, a little off balance, and he'll knock it down. The athleticism of such a big man is a marvel to see. We've got three seniors playing their last game. Is this the last one for Paul Pierce? Good question. Will he go out? Yeah, a lot of people think so. If he's one of the top four or five, let's watch him finish here. Showtime. Now the trap on Robertson. Gets it away to Pew. KU breaks it quickly. The lob inside. Pierce fumbled it and still scored. With a foot. Pierce with the jumper. Rattles it home. Well, that was all a lot of iron, but it got down. He's got eight. It's a three on two break. Look how they battle. Brewer goes down. Pugh goes on top of him. More importantly, watch the finish on the break. McGrath runs it right to the middle, drops it off to Pierce, and he drains it in the bottom of the net. Gregory against Allison. Pierce for three. Nice shot. Jimmy Burr, one of the officials watching, and very astutely caught that right foot on the line. Robertson for three. Pierce, nobody blocked him out. Oklahoma State in that zone defense. I need to protect a lot of guys who got fouls. Pierce. If you're going to play a zone, you got to know where the shooters are. it back into single digits. Pierce. Pierce is feeling it. Pierce for three. Oh, I'm telling you, he's in a zone right now. Pierce. Unbelievable. Samson just walked out on the floor and pointed right at Pierce and just shook his head. Like, I can't do anything about you. A moment ago, as Thomas puts up a three, can't get it, and Pierce with the follow, and he scores. Well, he showed you just a few seconds ago all the Pierce work on the outside. Well, he could do it on the inside, too. Good offensive rebound and a stick back. Paul Pierce reverses it and scores. How many different ways has he scored tonight? Watch Pierce, little ball fake. Nahara had no chance. He had that long step and then that long reach on the other side and reverse off the window. He's really a second half guy if you look at his stats. Averaging almost 13 points a game in his second half. LaFrance misses Pierce the offensive board and puts it up and in. Paul Pierce on Monday night at senior night in Lawrence against Oklahoma. You gotta watch him too. He's had seven 20 uh, point games this year. 12 Seven double doubles. Pierce good inside. Move. Nice speed. Oh, and good screen up top. Really nicely done by Kansas. Terrific follow. Pierce and in. We're going to take the roof up and add some more seats here. Pull up by Pierce. I'll tell you, nobody in college Ooh. basketball does that better. That little 10, 12 foot jump shot. This has him right. Oh, nice pick and roll. Oh, Pierce the cue. Yesterday. 48-39. Pierce to fall away. Oh, oh, what a roll. Man, is he good. Payne Brewer. Brewer likes to get in opponents' bodies and draw a lot of contact. Blocked by Pierce. That's his 41st block of the year. Jayhawks understand defense, and they understand how to get their home crowd involved. And Pierce goes out. Allison was effective yesterday. He hit three three-pointers. But Chinowick gets a rebound. There's the man we're talking about. That's the reason you don't want him with a basketball. Yeah, one of the best, if uh, maybe not the best player in the in the college basketball this year. Johnson who averages almost four and a half assists a ball game. There's Pierce with the jumper, and he connects. That's the first field goal they've had in a while. To check in, and Michael Johnson's going to come back into the game as Paul Pierce knocks down a two. Paul Pierce. We've called him smooth, and there's a screen by Pew, and it just looks effortless, but that is as smooth as it gets. They stay in that matchup zone defense. Pierce finally connects on one. 
Pierce pulls up baseline left side or free throw line I should say Count it. Pierce Pierce making the offensive move the time before and he kind of got last and might as well double team and get the ball out of his hands now he goes down he sets up low on the baseline it's as if they forgot where number 34 is and this guy is uh, taking over on the offensive end Lester Earl comes out and screens for him. It's a three on the way. 